This is just a quick video to run you through how to import uh, people, leads, and organizations uh, into WordPress as well as create campaign memberships for them. Uh, I'm just going to be doing a people uh, import in this example, but the same principles apply exactly to the other record types. Uh, so what I'm going to be doing is importing 14 new members to the import test campaign here. So I'm going to quickly just show you my CSV file. It's very simple. Um, I took this straight out of a people landing page. Uh, so these fields should just map straight away for me for the people record. Um, I've then also included their campaign status. So basically are they interested, not interested, unknown. Uh, this is one of the required fields when uh, importing campaign members. So I'm going to uh, go to my imports and I'm going to do a new people campaign. Uh, grab my file there and okay yeah, that looks fine all right so as i mentioned these have all mapped pretty much straight away for me uh, the only thing left is the campaign status so this is where uh, we're going to basically extend the import through to the campaign membership so we click on extend then into campaign membership and then it appears at the bottom here so minimize then open that up and campaign status has a star next to it. So like person name, uh, it's a mandatory request, so minimum requirement. We can't update, uh, we can't do the import without it. So campaign status requires two things, which is the status and the campaign. So it's what's the member's interest and which campaign is it going to. Um, you could use a default or constant value if uh, all of the members are gonna have the same uh, status and go to the same campaign or you can do it like how I do it. And if you've got multiple values, do it from a file field. So the status I have in my import, so I'm using campaign status. And then because they're all going to the same import, I'm gonna copy and paste it exactly uh, because it uses the name and not the reference uh, to minimize errors. I'm just copy and pasting it, which I'd recommend you do whether you're putting it in as a constant value or whether you are then putting it into an Excel spreadsheet. So I'm going to save this. So I'm happy with all of my field mappings. So on to the next stage. So I'm going to tell, uh, although this is a pretty much empty database, I'm going to tell Workbooks to update existing records and create new ones, just so I run, uh, reduce the risk of creating duplicates. I'm also going to use the email address and name to identify these duplicates. Uh, just to be certain. So, happy with that. Yep, we'll check the person. That's absolutely fine. Okay, so I'm going to run this. So, as it's 14 records, it will be pretty much instantaneous and it should create uh, 14 people records and 14 campaign memberships. There we go. Fantastic. So, just open up one of the campaign memberships. So, that's gone from 13 to 27 and anyone highlighted in blue, I can see, has just been added. Uh, don't be alarmed about it being highlighted in blue, it's just because I haven't accepted the import yet. If I now approve this and refresh, there we go. So now up to 27 members. Uh, if you have any other questions about imports or campaigns, please feel free to contact us at support at workbooks.com or ask one of your system administrators as they may be able to tell you a little bit more about how to perform uh, other import extensions or other things you do with campaigns. All right, thank you very much for watching.